What will the attacker ban be? We saw a Thatcher ban, interestingly, in the last matchup. Well, Cap, gonna go first. Uh, the more we trudge on through these games, the more that we're seeing Capital banned well, out. They play a pretty good roam game, so I'm not surprised to see that go. Definitely you like uh, the gridlock. Also, the freezer doorways and things like that. Echo going as well. That means Maestro is going to be playing that heaven spot. Push down the hallway, and Darkshare still stalling out, trying to push through the red stairs. Hall, and ooh, the stun against his own teammate, hyper disoriented, and he will fall at the hands of Kama, playing at the base of red stairs. Another one now, as he turns the corner, and Kama's Nitro will be the one to take away Nyx, even though Shockwave was in the midst of an engagement. It's down at Hot and Cold in BC now. Smoke grenade. Smoke grenade coming out onto the rotate, so they can continue to push down the hall. Now BC will turn the corner. The pre-fire in, but Kama's relocated topside. That's three on the round for him. Looking for four as he walks down. Hot and cold will take him down, though, even though, wait, a lesion mine in his foot. Multiple members of Forge locking it down from deeper in, and Kama, or sorry, Rask is going to be the one to shut it down from inside a bakery just above the uh, the new hatch and balcony. There's a drone watching pillars. Nick, or Nick sorry, has him on drone, but Kama still wins out with the MPX at range. Impressive gunfight there. Swinging a little bit too wide and exposing himself for just a moment. Hyper will go down. Now BC, last man standing. Able to trade out Kama finally, but he's already done the damage. BC recollects the diffuser from the new balcony hatch at the very least, but Shockwave never left his position. Nope. Lying prone in that hole and... Dinger still. Oh, now in the midst of throwing a smoke, BC will cut down WTG, and the plant going down from hot in here is stopped holding the top angles to collapse onto the site for a plant. Hot's going to get this off successfully. BC will take down Rask as well. A flank down from Pasha levels it to a 2v2. On top of the diffuser now will be Pasha trying to stick the defuse with Shockwave covering. Nobody from Dark Zero pushing in until mid turns the corner for one, and mid with both of them. Come from, so they just make that adjustment. Rask going for the same run out as before. It doesn't get a second. Come on! Much much later into the round this time, but that's two down. For another rotation back towards Baker, and Rask is going to end that fight quickly. Houghton on one HP, Nyx now in the grave, down the Dark Zero, zero entry, wow. WPG shuts them both down. And now it's a one HP hot and cold, floundering outside the north side of the building, left alive. I don't know if Rask is going to go for the long run out on that one, but pushing in past the coat closet, Kama is going to lock that one down. It's a flawless round for fours here on the defense in the basement. They're trying to stall him out with the uh, gridlock tracks, but the smoke not actually giving full coverage, so Rask is easily able to hit that shot on the Knicks. Kama following it up as well. It's all on BC and Houghton, who's low on health. Trying to push through, dropping a skylight, and that's going to go nowhere again. Houghton on 10 HP, and Pasha will shut it down. Trying to ping them for his teammates as well, but Nyx takes down Rask. Kama, and Rama, <laughs> Kama trades two, actually, onto Hot Cold Nyx, and Shockwave a third. It's just BC alone now in the 1v4, twisting in the middle of the reading hallway. WTG takes the angle, turns the corner, BC falls, and Dark Zero now at a 5-1 deficit early here on Cafe. Smokes in the process. Now another smoke will hit Pasha directly in the, in the face. face. Now crouching, walking up the bar. Rask will get one before his teammate is traded out. Another one for Hyper now. Dark Zero in the driver's seat on this round. Possibly for the first time really this entire game. Evading the Legion Mines. Two members for Dark Zero stacked on white stairs. The phone calls will come out and Hyper continues to decapitate every Russian member on this board. Shockwave last man standing now is the Dokubi with 10 seconds left and Hyper goes massive on the Alda. Dark Zero get one back under their belts and still a three round deficit. But like I said, one round at a time. Yeah. Well, this is definitely much more doable now that they're on defense. Don't do it. much damage to them at all. And in the meantime, WTG takes down Mint. Good kill onto the Mozzie. It's a war on two fronts here as half of Force is trying to go for the push onto the site and the other half are trying to clear across the top floor of Cocktail, but two deaths on the side of Dark Zero gives Force a massive advantage as they try to condense back onto the objective. Hot and cold outside in Pillars giving the call to a man inside of Mining. Pit Nix will turn the corner, but whiff on the gunfight. WTG will shut him down, down to a 2v5. Hot has the possibility to lock it down from outside, but Rask vaulting on him up above. Assassin's Creed and Hot and straight out of the server. Now Hyper above the laundry hatch, last man standing in a 1v5 of Flock. Flawless round yet again for fours. Put us on match point wide, don't you? The new Russian machine. Diffuser even going down. They're trying to cover freezer. Oh no, he looks up just the wrong moment, but you know what? He doesn't get punished for it. Hot Dagger, cold does Dagger, punish Dagger. one. Now he gets punished. Daggers, Diffuser is planted in a 2v3 now. Oh wow, good shots there from Hot and Cold to go for the flank through Bakery. Now it's just Pasha alone outside the mining window decapitates Mint and has visibility on the diffuser from above from multiple angles. This is the hole that BC made with his impact. Could it be his own teammates 
being their demise. Has a punch hole towards the wooden barricade. He's gonna spot out one, but the defuse still going down from BC. Pasha unaware. One second left. All he has to do is hit the hand. Pasha! The 1v3 clutch! And fours take map number one! What a play. Pasha with the 10,000 IQ. Fours also has a pretty good clubhouse, and it didn't matter if they had a good cafe from Dark Zero because they seemed to just get run over regardless. So uh, he was just hiding it at first. Gonna find the blue position, but Hyper fighting two with the C4. And that is the Habanagon. Not sure if all the hatches were finished off. They do have a Thermite to be able to get up, but no, the kitchen hatch still solid. So that's a great pick. DZ though going down in the process, uh, but not all the way. Nick's finishing off Shockwave. So WTG cannot finish the job yet, but a sneaky play here by Kama. Finishing off Nixon, almost getting a second. A little peekaboo game here, and WTG actually wins it. Good team play. Wow, this is coming back into a 2v2 now. 20 seconds left, and the drone reestablished where his position is. Someone's gonna have to turn the corner and take the aggressive stance, but Mint on the flank through blue will take down one. Go. Will he go back again? Kama's gonna read that. He's gonna down off Mint, now down to 10 seconds left, and Hyper's still under the kitchen hatch. Throws the drone as a bait, knows he's still there. Kama does not have the health advantage, and the pre-fire's not enough. Hyper stands pat underneath the kitchen hatch, and that's Dark Zero. Yeah, definitely. Looks like fours are very focused on... Wow, that was a play right there. The one wall that's soft, completely taken advantage of. BC had no idea that was coming. He was busy trying to cover. It was all just about trying to stay here as long as possible, delay them. In the meantime, no, WTG taking down Hyper. It's all now down to a 2v5. This might be a flawless round for fours. They have yet to take any damage here. Let's see how this fight goes. All right, going towards that flawless round. Still no damage. Mint has got the world against him now. Just holding off. Sounds like a nitro cell, and it won't be a flawless round as Mint gets it's one back in his column, but the plan going down now from Kama with coverage from both Pasha and Rask, and Pasha will be the one to close it out. Mint falls inside a cache. Bathroom wall's been opened up as well, and Houghton's gonna take down Rask with an immediate trade here for Kama as Houghton will fall. There goes the Cade and the one-man advantage back in the favor of Fords. I've had so much gym control oh, for a no. while now, but this is gonna be hyper all day if they try and enter in through gym. They didn't actually get that Valk in there. They finally will. The plan going down for Kama now, and all hyper has to do is launch a Nitro. Here it comes, soaring to the sky, but it doesn't what? connect. He pulled off the plan, but Nyx with a 3K now. Diffuser on the ground. WGG holding still, and Dark Zero off the backs of Nyx and that UMP. No idea where these shots are coming Ooh. from, but BC overextending as is hot and cold, and suddenly such the advantage that Dark Zero had is disappearing and slipping through their fingers. Nick's pressing up, and now he's gonna get in the way of Hyper, going for the rush out. Nick's pulls out the machine pistol, but cannot get the kill. The plant going down into the overtime now from Kama's last man standing is detected outside. Just poor execution on the plant denial there for Dark Zero, and they're gonna drop around on cash once again. Fours, bringing one back. Wow. He did not get caught. Well played. And oh no, we can't finish it. Now hot and peeking the window again, another one to fall. Mint is still down and bleeding out. They have bathroom control. Oh no, WTG whiffing a lot of free shots there. Hyper takes down Kama as well. Over in cash and another one for Hyper. WTG cannot for the life of him finish off hot and cold as he perseveres by the mattress in the midst of Master. Inside a Master bedroom to really give Dark Zero the advantage. Heading into the second half as WTG cannot get a kill from inside a bathroom, a pivot position. But still, that's an ACOG off the board on a three armor. However, BC gets Pasha as well, and that's another important kill to band it down. Not gonna be tricking anything now. Looks pretty good here for this attack, especially once Rask goes down as well. 5v2. Forrest look like they're gonna lose this, especially as BC gets WTG. It's Kama alone in a 1v5. Could be a flawless round of Dark Zero's own here. Put us at rest and move us on after the first round of the second half. Kama taking a lot of damage, and it is a flawless round. Can't get the Echo Drone in there through yeah. there, so now he's gonna go one v one against Mint. Just uh, walk, oh, I was gonna say walk up to him and then have the cap out, but BC just finished the job, no I problem. Force not having a lot of HP to back that up as that tank, that bullet sponge. It's gonna be detrimental, but BC will pick up another one for free on a Rask. Looking, buddy, looking to be a run out here from Kama momentarily, but he watches just as BC will pass in front of him into the lower portion of the garage and go for the repel. Oh, Reading it beautifully, trying to go for the hip fire, and Kama embarrassing wow. himself on international television as Kama will go down. Hot and cold, reads that one beautifully. There goes the smoke, but Mint evades. Not getting hit by a single portion of that. The Nitro will go up and it will not connect as no one's gone in for a plant on default just yet. Another beautiful shot there from BC. And again, flawless round after flawless round for Dark Zero. They continue the onslaught. And they now lead, looking to put this map away and take us all the way to Villa.
No, not knowing that someone's on the main floor bathroom and there for Pasha being inside a strip. Oh no, BC's gonna drop right into the waiting arms of Kama. And now coming back up, Blue Stairs is hot and cold, angling in for two. Oh, mint inside of Blue as well. The rest of the push here, a beautiful shot there from WTG. Downs and finishes off hot and cold. The shotgun to the feet of Mint on two HP, but being shot in the back now by Hyper. More shots ringing out through the wall, and Mint with a pistol down to the 2v2 now. He is so low in HP and does not want to leave Hyper in the 1v2, but that's exactly what it'll be now instead for Mint. Still Pasha darting and dancing around this stack of boxes, constantly confusing and disorienting Mitten as he goes for the ADS. Pasha will decapitate him. Be key to that, much like I was saying about Nyx on Clash. Pasha, though, has the opportunity to get... Oh, he gets it! Oh, now that puts Force in a really good position here. Still have Droning coming out from Hyper out on the balcony. BC will take down Rask, though, as he tries to push into the objective, carrying the Diffuser as well. Man in rafters, a man Hold on balcony. On, Still plenty of time remaining here for the defense. And BC again, though, shredding through every member of Force like a hot knife through butter. And now it's Pasha alone in the 1v2. Lights up BC. Hyper covering from the rafters. Pasha will down him. Now needs to turn the corner and quickly get the kill. Hyper trying to self revive. And BC heading over into the rafters. Hyper back on his feet. All it takes is one shot, though. Beautiful flick there from Pasha. Now the 1v1. Pasha alone in the 1v2. Force stay alive in the back of the young superstar. WD WTG, sorry. Oh, what a shot through the wall from Hot, and we'll take oh, down God. Pasha. WTG also only has one more smoke remaining and a couple impacts. Pressing to logistics here, and Rask will shut that down from Nyx. So there goes your cap and tab. We level up on man count again. The last Toxic Babe will choke up the member from Dark Zero trying to push in from construction. Hot and Cold alone inside a Master while a double flank comes through logistics. They need to get a plant going here. The Diffuser's on the ground. All Force have to do is back off. Force or WTG, the last man standing, and Force will win out on time. The last two members. Unknowing, and of course, blowing the hatch, Pasha actually knows about it because of the Valk cam. He's gonna get a call from the C4. Unfortunately, he's gonna get heard. Does down BC, though. I was gonna say he doesn't do anything, but it certainly did. Could finish it off with gas, but nope, too far away. However, Pasha wants to just manually push it. Gets a two for one, and almost a third, but Mint finally getting a kill there with the ADS. Totally worth it, though, now. Pasha made the play, and it, it counted. Has smoked out right now, taking damage from his own teammate's smoke as he gets docked up. A mixed signal there. But the barrage into blue here coming from Dark Zero. Shockwave cuts down Nyx, immediately traded out, but Hyper will fall. Mint, last man standing with him, like the pistol in desperation. Or oh, we're going to overtime, going for the hip fire. Now the ADS will bring it down to a 1v2, but once again, 5 HP. WTG closes it out. It's four rounds in a row for fours. We're going to overtime. Fours was looking so desperate at the beginning of this. He's gonna throw that instead over to the wards. The blue hatch evades the stun beautifully on the sprint back, but Hyper will collect the first kill onto Pasha. WTG down and finished off by Mint as well, so things are going awry early for Fours, but still a 3v5 to work out of. They have a couple egg cogs to work with at long range. The smokes from Nyx now gonna disorient and disrupt the vision of everyone else. And hitting the deck will be shockwave to his immediate demise at the hands of BC. Turning the corner, it's a clean sweep for Dark Zero. The flawless round on the attack to put them back on match point on map number two to send us to Villa. Certainly looking like it. That was definitely a looks like Dark Zero is actually getting kind of antsy, trying to be aggressive. That punishes Nyx. Now the Yokai's all on their own, but Kama pushing a pinch from dirt wins again. Hot and cold going down a force. Looking like they could take this attack round for once. Putting a lot of pressure on. Mint takes one down, but WTG trading it on to BC. 2v4. Forza in the driver's seat here. Mint drops as well. Hyper trying to make this work here. Mint finished off. Rask with the pistol to do it. Four almost full health operators against one lone pulse. His heartbeat might not be much soon, but he takes down Shockwave. It doesn't matter if they get the fuse or not. WTG finish things off. Takes the first successful attack round for them on Church, changing things up in the overtime and putting it within the realm of possibility. This is a problem here for Dark Zero, like you said, all stacked out on the balcony, choking a little bit on the gas, and here comes Rask, man. This is timing. Mint could either make this or break this. Looks like, oh, he's gonna make it. There you go. Beautiful coverage there from Mint. Pasha down below with the Nitro Cell, and he knows they're gonna have to come storming into the objective through windows. Angle from down below here from Pasha, red by Nyx, but still cut down. In behind the mattress, another one for Force. A Shockwave collects two. A Nitro Cell will land directly on a member, but it won't take down Hot and Cold. Cut down, pushing through construction. The last man standing is BC. And ladies and gentlemen, Force to the quarterfinals. I cannot believe they pulled that off. The comeback of the century, even losing their favorable defense round. They bring it back on an attack and then a final defense.